y'all, so I made the very last minute decision to participate in the Cramathon readathon that's going on this weekend, aka today, July 10th through Monday, July 13th. And so I just decided to combine my Cramathon TBR with this week's weekly reads video. Now, there are seven challenges for the Cramathon that most people are trying to complete. However, I'm just participating because I have a ton of reading to get done and I need some motivation, not because I want to get a bunch of small books read. So I will be like completing some of the challenges because coincidentally some of the books on my TBR do match up with some of the challenges, but I will not be trying to complete all of the challenges. It's just some of my books happen to match up. And of course, as with my normal weekly reads videos, I will be showing you what I plan to read once the Cramathon is over throughout the rest of the week. So even though I'm not trying to complete the challenges, I will run through all seven of them really quickly just so y'all know what they are. Number one is to read a children's book. Number two is to read a hardback. Number three is to read two books in 24 hours. Number four is to read a graphic novel. Number five is to read a book written in verse. Number six is to read a novella. And number seven is to read five books total. So the first book that I will be continuing during the Cramathon is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, which is book three in the Mistborn trilogy. Now, I am not as far into this as I want to be, so I definitely want to get a significant chunk of this knocked out over the weekend. However, I'm not sure I want to read all of this by the end of the weekend, mostly because I don't want to rush myself with this trilogy because it's amazing. However, I do want to make a dent in it and I'll probably break it up with the smaller books that I am about to show you. The next thing that I want to have completed by the end of the weekend is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. And this is a bind up of novellas about Magnus Bane, so this could fit both the hardcover and the novella challenge. I read the first six novellas in here back in November and December and I put it down because as much as I love Magnus Bane, I'm not always a huge novella person and I was finding it hard to get through them, but I really want to finish this because I do love Magnus so much and so hopefully I do end up finishing this by the end of the weekend because it is already on my July TBR and I just I want to be done with it. The next book that I want to read this weekend is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, which is a book that I've been really excited about for like two months now and I still haven't gotten to it and I'm going to finally get to it during the Cramathon, hopefully. I put it on my July TBR, so I do really hope to get to it at least this month if I don't finish it in the Cramathon, but I am really interested in this one and I hope to get to it this weekend. The next book that I hope to read this weekend is The Future Collection by Beth Revis, which is another collection of short stories slash novellas. So I technically broke my book buying ban to buy this, but it was $3 and I'm getting to it this weekend. And it's something that really interests me, so I don't feel bad at all. Plus, it's an ebook, so I almost don't even count it. Anyway, I've talked a lot about how I love Beth Revis, and she writes such awesome science fiction and dystopian novels, and I am really excited to get to this one. I was planning on holding off buying this until the end of my ban, but since this opportunity came up to read a lot of short books in a short time period, I was like, you know what, I might as well get it now because I really want to read it. I'm going to read it this weekend. It's something that I'm really excited about. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be reading this this weekend. So those are the books that I plan to read through the Cramathon. Like I said, I don't plan to completely finish Hero of Ages plus all those books. That would be a little crazy because I'm only like 250 pages into Hero of Ages but I do plan to at least make a big dent in that and finish the other three. And I'm not totally sure if I'm gonna do a wrap-up at the end of the readathon. I might just talk about it in my wrap-up video at the end of the month, but um, yeah, depending on how much reading I do actually get done, I may or may not do a readathon wrap-up. So now moving on to what I'm going to be reading the rest of the week. Obviously, I'm still going to be pushing my way through The Hero of Ages. However, I do have one more book that I hope to at least start by the end of the week. And that is, of course, Armada by Ernest Klein, which is released this coming Tuesday, and I'm so excited because I love Ernest Klein and I loved Ready Player One. I've heard great things about Armada lately, and I'm just so excited to finally be able to read it. So yeah, I know that this is a pretty ambitious TBR, but I do tend to get a lot of reading done during readathons, especially if there are Twitter sprints, which I'm not sure if the Cramathon will have those. But yeah, I 
hope to get a lot of reading done. So now moving on to my TV show challenge jar. If you want to learn more information about this challenge, I will leave a link down in the description to the video where I announced it. In my last weekly reads video, I decided to watch Top Chef season 10, and I have since finished both seasons 10 and 11. And I would move on to season 12, but it's not on Hulu, which makes it kind of difficult to be able to watch it at work. So it is time to pull out a new TV show from the jar. This one. I don't know why, my finger just hit this one and then immediately wanted it. So let's see what TV show I'm going to be watching this week. And I do remember both of the ones written down on green. And there's definitely one that I'm a little bit more excited about than the other. I did end up getting the one that I was a little bit more excited about, and that is American Horror Story Season 2, which I need to finish. I started this one actually last summer, about this time. Um, I watched Season 1, and then I watched halfway through Season 2, and I stopped. And I am really excited to finally be able to go back and finish this season. I'll probably have to rewatch the first half, but that's okay. I am going to watch season two and then hopefully continue on to season three because I am really excited to see what season three is all about because Witch's Coven sounds really exciting. So these are the books and TV show that I'm going to be consuming this week. It's pretty ambitious, but I think that I can do it with the readathon. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! And finally, the last book that I hope to get to during the Cramathon is The Future Hearts... No. <laughs> the Future Hearts. That's the new all-time low album. What am I saying? The next book that I want to read this weekend is the... <laughs> I can't... Do I even know how to booktube?